Date, time, and temperature. Saturday, October 7th, 7.03 a.m. at 65 degrees. The deeper and deeper into October we get, I have to get up earlier and earlier just to make sure I get a parking spot. That's right, my friends. Today we are heading back to Salem, Massachusetts for Zombie Walk 2023. It's supposed to be a washout today, raining from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Straight up 8 a.m. here on this Saturday morning in Salem, the calm before the storm. Literally, the calm before the storm. It's supposed to be a washout today. It's going to rain from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. And the other storm is, you know, all the people come into taking the haunted happenings of this October. Plenty of parking down below. Plenty of parking in this garage that I'm parked in. Yep, today is going to be a total washout, but unfortunately today is the only day that I can make it to Salem this weekend. And you know me, I got to be in Salem every single weekend in the month of October. Hopefully with the rain, Zombie Walk 2023 still takes place. I'm always excited to see what kind of zombies are going to show up in Salem. Also, the Haunted Happenings Marketplace happens every weekend on Salem Common. So today, you and I are just going to have to make the best of it. We're going to walk around Salem, see what we see, do what we do, take in the sights, the sounds, the smells, and the taste of Salem, Massachusetts Haunted Happenings first weekend of October. Be advised if you are planning on driving into Salem and parking downtown, the parking rates are now $50 for all lots downtown. That's a $20 hike from last year. Previous years, it's been $30, $50. I'll be interested to see what my blood pressure looks like here after I pay. With the expected rain coming today, this is a perfect day to take in a movie and check out the selection here at Cinema Salem. Hocus Pocus, the original Halloween, the brand new Exorcist Believer movie, and then a whole slew of Universal Monster movies. I know they're showing Dracula and the Wolfman. I don't know if it starts pouring, you might find me inside here. 8.45 a.m. Here is the uh, the happenings here on Osic Street. Stores are starting to get open. People are starting to pack the cobblestones and bricks of Essex Street. I'm actually going to take a detour off of Essex Street to start this video and walk through some neighborhoods and check out some decorations. Good morning, Sam, and a happy haunted happenings to you. Yeah, I always enjoy walking up Federal Street and you know, the top end of Essex Street away from the crowds. Checking out the old houses and of course the decorations. Here is my favorite decorated house in Salem. I always bring you down here and it looks like the owner is just now getting it all set up. Yeah, I always love coming down here. This is legit my favorite decorated house in Salem. Of course, you got all the spooky skeletons just wanting to get inside, get some of that Halloween candy. Give you that side view. I actually know the owner, Matt. Really awesome guy. I love coming down here and talking to him. Believe it or not, my friends, he is not done with the decorations. There's still a lot more to come. So peaceful back here. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. Boot to you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. I'm used to Michael Myers being hidden behind a hedge, but not Wednesday. Everybody's out here taking photos of the Peabody Essex Rope Mansion, otherwise known as Allison's House from Hocus Pocus. All the pumpkins are lining the sidewalk outside the witch house. Everybody's coming up here and getting a great photo. I'm definitely digging these Halloween blow molds inside of Jerry's department store. If you're a pin collector, they got a bunch of Halloween style pins out here. I love to see this. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. Count Orlock's Nightmare Gallery hasn't opened its doors for business yet today, but there is a line forming outside. Great. This is awesome. My favorite place in Salem. You know, I always got to stop over at this house. Another one of my favorite decorated houses in Salem. There are a ton of people waiting to get inside the Salem Witch Museum today. Figured I'd come down to Salem Common before it starts raining. This is the home of the Salem Haunted Happenings Marketplace. Also the beginning of the zombie walk. It smells so good out here with the French fries and the chicken tenders, the crepes, the donuts, the cider, the Italian sausage. Mm -mm -mm, and that fried dough. I'm looking at vendor tents for as far as the eye can see. You want witch hats? They got them. You want cloaks? They got them. Wigs and headpieces? They got them. Flannel shirts? 
They got them. Tumblr mugs. Yep, they got them. You looking for art? You can buy art down here. If you want to walk around looking like Clint Eastwood with a Jack Skellington poncho, you could do it. I see these guys all the time at horror conventions. Step right up and get your horror pillow. I think this is going to be my first purchase of the day. I bought this pennant last year from this same company. It was, I think it was Rhode Island Comic Con I bought that. Yeah. I always enjoy checking out these candles made from liquor bottles. They smell so good. You got them in can form too. Down at Revere Beach sitting on the wall. I saw these guys out here last year. Check this art out. Especially the witch house over there. Those are some crazy lamps. All right, looks like I'm in the right place for zombie walk. Here's the hearse to kick it off. Are you Ted Dancer from Creepshow? I think so. You guys are awesome. Happy Good Halloween. Night. Happy Halloween. I'm seeing less zombies over here than past years, but uh, I do see some zombies nonetheless. It's 11.30 a.m. Still no rain yet, but uh, the forecast says it's going to start around noontime. Zombie walk's supposed to kick off at 11 o'clock. Again, not too many zombies here. I'm a little disappointed in the zombie walk. I don't know if I should stick around or go walk around Essex Street or other parts of downtown before it starts raining. It's my buddy Joe Sachs. Good to see you, brother. How you doing, buddy? It sounds like you got some drums backing you up. I can't, I can't even hear what you're playing. The soothing sounds of Joe Sachs. Joe, I'm gonna come back and catch you later. These drums are too loud. Good to see you, brother. See you all October. Yeah. It's 11.45 a.m. and these are Halloween type crowds. I'm not even kidding, guys. Salem, good to see you guys. Happy early Halloween and happy hot happenings to you guys. Yeah, definitely Halloween type crowds out here today. Frank, how's the money? Money's good, good, good. Thank you. Good to see the tip. Nice, Jack. This is straight up Halloween type crowds today. First weekend of October. This is complete madness, man. Dude, there's only like 15 zombies. I had, I had to, I had to, I wasn't scared at all. I, 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 I. Is it at the common? It's at the common, but they're working. I think they're going to eventually work their way up this way. That's why I didn't want to mess around, wait too long down there before it starts raining. I said, heck, I'll catch the zombies up here on Essex Street. Can you, can you post something like, you are here, just so I don't have 50 people coming up to me like, where's Derek? Oh, Derek? oh, a lot of detour fans here today? Everybody's coming up to look for you. Well, if you see them in the next five minutes, tell them I'm going to Rockefellers. I said, he's in Rockefellers. That's where I'm going now, Jack. No, I'm just kidding. All right, listen. Yeah, you got a lot of fans. Everybody's looking for you. Yep. Make sure you keep that phone. They don't recognize you without the phone in front of your face. Got it. I said, he's the only guy walking around with the phone in his face. Dude, you got a lot of fans here. I'm going to beat tail up there, get that mystery shot. I'll be back. We'll see you in a little bit. Yes. Happy Halloween. Wait, is that the Baroness? Goodness, it is the Baroness. Girl, How are girl, you? I haven't seen you since last Halloween. Actually, you weren't even out here Halloween night, were you? No, I stayed home with the grandchild. Yeah, well, you, you brought them with you, right? Oh, you brought your twins. Indiana, <laughs> Indiana. Baroness, the crowds today are, are just like late October. No. There's a lot of people here today. There are a lot of people here today, but it'll double to triple. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is it's getting more and more packed earlier and earlier, right? It is. We have a great crowd today. Yeah. The zombie walk went off at 11 o'clock. They I, still haven't come through they yet. They haven't even started. I was where I was. I was down there with my hand in my pocket for about half an hour waiting for them to move, and nobody's moving. They're supposed to move at 11. Well, zombies do walk slow. Well, they do. Yeah. Um, 
But yep, the people are out. They're doing great. We're raising a lot of money for the charity. And everybody's doing great. You gotta get that free hug from Satan. I'm doing, I'm doing brother i'm doing good how are you yeah i'm doing good yeah mystery shot i have come for you and you look like a different color from the last several mystery shots i'm interested to see what you taste like all right it's definitely a different color mystery shot from the last several weeks a couple days ago it looked like it came from the creature from the black lagoon it was like a, a, like a blackish green i didn't like the taste cheers let's see Ooh, this one smells like cough syrup cheers John, I didn't see him coming either. All, all I see is head. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Millen. It wouldn't be October in Salem without a visit to with my good friend Bore the Witch. It wouldn't be Salem if Derek wasn't here. Derek Millen, if you aren't hit that subscribe button now and the alarm clock so you can get a notification every time your new show goes up each time. <laughs> You know, we claim to be such good friends, but you ducked me the last two weekends I've been here in Salem. I, I didn't see you during the parade, I, which was a couple days ago. Well, you know what? Because you were blind and looking the other way. I was in the parade. Too many mystery shots. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Probably. So, yeah. yesterday I was at the BBD Essex Museum signing my book. Oh, yeah. Tell us about your book. It's called as Bora's Book of Pitiful Poems and Pictures, and it's 31 Halloween poems and 31 Halloween pictures, and it is at Salem's Black Hat Society .org. And it? we sold out yesterday at the museum. Well, oh, because you're only trying to sell 31 books. Yeah, mm. boy. Oh, Derek just grabbed my butt. Oh, come on. Now, that wasn't me. That was, it must have been Jack. It must have been a ghost. Listen, I'll see you out here the whole month of October. It's always great to see you, Bora. It's always good to see I'm, you. I'm glad that you're not ducking me. I thought you were ducking me. No, I'm not, not ducking case, you. Though. I've been so busy. I hear you. But Listen, you, know you, you got a bunch of fans here. All right. Hello. 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 Look at that. They're share. Yeah, it is. <laughs> She's used oil boat lady. She looks 400 years younger. <laughs> anyway. All right, watch. Detours on YouTube. Can you go meet your fans? I'm going to take off. I'll see you in a little while. I'll see you later. Well, you're a little early. But I still enjoy seeing you anytime in October, Michael. Happy Halloween. Uh-oh, it looks like the Salem Bigfoot is taking up jack space. That's not good for the buskers. If you're a new busker like you are, Bigfoot, you need to respect the busker space. Salem Bigfoot, happy Halloween. Hey, Jack, how long have you been staying on this corner? Like, how many years? Oh, five, ten. Ten, and then all of a sudden, Big, Bigfoot shows up and he's going to stand in your spot? I don't know what he's thinking. He's not following the busker rules. Uh, look at my crowd. Yeah, nope. My There's nobody here for Bigfoot. Hold on. Say hi to D. Oh wow, we're doing live decapitations here in Salem now. Barrios, I love you. Your tacos are delicious, but I'm gonna uh well I'm gonna go to Howling Wolf and get that burrito today. I asked for an ice cold Miller Light. I didn't have any Miller Light bottles, so I got myself an ice cold Bud Light, some chips and salsa so while I wait for my delicious burrito. Burrito is served. Cheers. That's it. That's the stuff. Chicken, black beans, white rice, baby.
The Salem Trolley is out taking visitors, showing the sights, the sounds, the smells, and the taste of Salem, Massachusetts. Frank, you got your lights on, you're all illuminated. First weekend of October. What a party. 4 p.m. and this is what we're dealing with. It only rained for about, I don't know, 20 minutes earlier today, but look at the amount of people out here the first weekend of October. It's great to see this, a line outside the International Monster Museum. This is a fantastic attraction if you like monsters. I came back up here to my car to get myself a sweatshirt. It's starting to get a little chilly. Here's the parking situation on this Saturday night here in Salem. I can't believe it only rained for like 20 minutes. It was supposed to be a total washout today, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Literally 20 minutes of rain. It was just like sprinkles. It wasn't even heavy stuff. Oh. Good to see you. Hold on, let me check that watch. It is five o'clock, Jack. It's time for you and I to do that customary five o'clock mystery shot like we do every time we're here in Salem. Come in with us. You gonna be there? Yeah, come on with us. Let's go. Listen, brother, happy hot that happenings to, uh, and, and many more uh, mystery shots throughout this month. Absolutely. Let me fix my straw. Oh. You know I need a straw. Yep. Cheers, Jack. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to you guys. Happy you Halloween. A little stronger, a little stronger than last week, right? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what the heck that one was, but that wasn't even normal mystery shot. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I can handle too many of them. <laughs> so the next stop on this detour is not to Black Craft, but it's a well it's a haunted house sponsored by Black Craft. Unfortunately no filming or photography taken inside. So here it is, it's called the Black Craft Haunt. And it's actually behind Black Craft. It's right down this alley. Right down the alley. I'm excited to go check this out. My first haunt of the 2023 season. It looks like we're not the only people here to take in this haunt tonight. This hasn't been well promoted, but there's definitely a lot of people here. Black Craft Haunt. I'm so excited. This is open today, so we're here for like an opening day attraction. Just too bad I can't film or take photos inside. And no filming or photography inside the haunt, right? No. But I am gonna fill this uh this form I have to fill out, this consent form for me to go inside the haunt. That's that's crazy, that's awesome. That means it's gonna be scary, and I'll dig that. My friends Mike and Katie said, Detours, you need to go over here and film this. Always on the clock. I'm glad they did send me over here. Check out the skeleton here with the blinking lights and the tombstones out in front still waiting in line to get in this black craft haunt we finally uh, I, I took a photo of the uh, disclaimer it was two pages long and the word deaths in there and emotional scarring or whatnot so this might be pretty intense so is this a scary haunt am I gonna be scared in here tonight or what I draw you a picture really good you're gonna draw me a picture really good <laughs> talented yeah, and you said you took this from my mother's house? Yeah. <laughs> I saw her this morning. <laughs> I'm afraid to open this. I am too. Just like I was by fortune. I know. Oh, that's a good one. Loser. Loser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this might be the last time you see me tonight. <laughs> or ever again. We had to sign a waiver. <laughs> That's awesome. The kid in front of me said, My pocket is full of beers. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, pass one to me, man. <laughs>
out of the haunt, <laughs> straight out of the haunt re reaction, oh, guys. Like what do you guys think? Oh, the the awesome. best attraction in the city that of Salem. Awesome. Made not alive. You guys made know, alive. you guys know that I'm a Counter Warlock fan, but this Ooh, rivals yeah. any haunted house at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Amazing. This this was awesome. I awesome. thought was I was gonna awesome. die. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> like when you when you sign a waiver, that is for real. Like Ooh. there's some scary not stuff in here. Not messing around. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Well done. Well done. Awesome. I'm trying to have a conversation with my it friend over here. Love, 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 love. That is all about love. We do love each other. Scum, tell me. Craximus. So good to see you on here first. We get October here in Salem. What is it? Uh, it's Friday, right? Saturday? Somebody told me it was the 7th. It is the 7th. It's a Saturday. I'm working the next two days. That's how I know that. Good to see you, brother. Wait, show you. Put your lights on real quick. Oh, look at this. My headlights. Oh, oh look at get that. Get out of the way. I'm going to kill you now. If you look <laughs> at me. Ah. 7.08 p.m. People are still lined outside the Twilight House to go in and buy some Salem merch. And down the street, Count Orlock's gallery. Line out front. James, it's after 7 p.m. There's a whole lot of people outside of the Count Orlock's monster gallery right here, the Nightmare Gallery. I can't believe there's still a business open after 7 p.m. in Salem. That's my favorite attraction in the city of Salem. I'm always going to say that. Thank you, Derek. 7.15 p.m. and we're still talking about that haunt that we just came out of. I'm telling you, the best attraction in Salem is that Black Craft Haunt. Go search it out. It's like $30 a person. You sign a waiver. You're not going to die. Listen, I'm doing this video right now. I didn't die, but it's definitely scary. And it's definitely an awesome haunt. I bet you can walk right up to the front door of the Hotel Salem and request a spot on the roof deck bar right now. There's a lot of people walking the street, but not anybody waiting down in front of the Hotel Salem. 7.40 p.m. I don't know why I'm all about giving times and stuff in the videos, but I do. 7.40 p.m. People are still packing Essex Street. A lot of the stores are closed, but people are just like walking around because like, hey, I'm in Salem. We're supposed to be here because we took our vacation here. What do we do? Let's just walk around. Wow, the haunted house is still open this time of night. Guys, I'm telling you, I recommend go to that Black Craft Haunt. I've been to this one. It's not the Black Craft Haunt. It appears that the Omen Psychic Fair is still open right now. Go in there and get that witch stuff. Bewitched in Salem is still actually open this time of night. Well, that's weird. 7.30 and these stores are still open on a Saturday. It's, well, that's great. Get that money, Salem. Bat Box, I'm still coming for you sometime this October. It's a brand new shop here in Salem. Uh, I guess it's uh, like a, a gift shop that has to do with bats. I'm probably totally wrong how I'm describing the bat box. Once I finally go inside that store, I'll let you guys know how it is. In fact, I'll bring you in. I heard you can film inside there. Sanderson sister alert. I just realized for like the last 10 hours, I've been walking around with an umbrella in my pocket. It's pouring now. That fried dough smells very delicious. Yeah, it looks like you still buy tickets to a ghost tour here at 8 p.m. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. Obviously the old Main Street pub would still remain open, but I'm seeing the Crow Haven Witch Shop, the oldest witch shop here in Salem still open. As is Remember Salem, which is a pretty cool Harry Potter store if you know that stuff. It's also the home of the Salem Ouija Board Museum. Right there in the back of the store is the Salem Ouija Board Museum. I brought you in there before a couple years ago. I'm definitely going to bring you back in there this year. This is a really, really cool museum. Cheap money, too. It's like 10 bucks. It's just full of like different Ouija boards, witch boards. As I always say, I've never seen a Harry Potter movie, so a lot of this stuff is kind of over my head. Harry Potter Lego sets. Harry Potter spell books. I'm sure that stuff's pretty important. They don't sell butter beer here, but they definitely sell butterscotch beer. That's kind of like Harry Potter, right? I dig that. It's raining out and people are still enjoying a cocktail outside at the old Main Street pub. I am not going to enjoy an outside cocktail or even an inside cocktail. Yeah, this rain is my sign to leave. 
We definitely had a fun day here in Salem. Oh, I've never told you guys about Jamie's Roast Beef, have I? This is my favorite new stop on the way home from Salem every time. Yeah, this place is awesome. They got more than roast beef here. You can also get a uh, steak and cheese, a steak bomb, chicken fingers, buffalo chicken finger dinner. I'm telling you, the beef here, this is where you go. This is where you go on your way home from Salem. And they got the merch. How many fast food joints do you know sell merch at their place? Look at that sexy beef. I just get mine plain. Honestly, I'm eating it in a car, so if I put any barbecue sauce or cheese or anything else on this, it's gonna get all over my hands, gonna get all over the car, so. Plain beef, seated bun, regular sized. Look at the size of this roast beef sandwich compared to the size of my face. I gotta say thank you to those Detour fans that found me out in the streets of Salem or perhaps inside of Rockefellers for that mystery shot. It's always my favorite part of filming these Salem videos in October is meeting you guys, the viewers. The Detour fans, if you will. Thank you guys so much for like wanting to take a time out of your day to get a selfie with me or to tell me how much my videos helped you plan your trip to the Witch City. I gotta give a big thank you and a shout out to those Detour viewers that help support the channel by donating to my Patreon page. Big shout out to Karen O'Reilly, Marshall Brown, Peter Jargalos, Dane Lavender, Steve Davis, C. Marie, David Goldman, Matthew Harton, Megan Milliman, Francis Arpea, Stephen Brady, Emilio Flores, Danielle Benedenti, Jeff Knutson, John Bryson, Ronnie and Chrissy Collins, Hubie Dubois, Zombie Joe, Ron Crocker, Vesper and Ollie Anderson, Joel Riendo, James Schimmelman, Tenacious Day, Kansas Girl Abroad, Runty and Mr. Beanie, Sandra Mialos, Joe and Stacy, Steve White, Bill Lutz, Richard Klatka, Angel T, Terry Couchman, and Ralph Longmore. Thank you guys for your generous donations. I can't believe you like my videos enough that you want to help support the channel financially. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you have a happy and healthy Halloween season. And of course, cheers, my friends. Well, that's going to be it for this detour documenting the first weekend of October, Salem, Massachusetts. As you saw, Salem was already super busy here on the first weekend of October. I recommend if you're coming to Salem, pack your patients, pack a lunch. It's definitely difficult to get inside of a restaurant. Make sure you come with a plan. Maybe pre-purchase some attraction tickets online before you come to Salem, or you're just going to be walking up and down Essex Street and walking around the side streets with nothing to do. It's a beautiful city. There's a lot of stuff to look at. There's a lot of people watching going on. But if you come to Salem without a plan, I feel like you're going to leave here disappointed because, like, I didn't get inside of any attractions. I don't want you to be that person. I want you to have a great time in Salem. If you enjoyed my Salem content, I invite you to check out my Salem, Massachusetts playlist here on my YouTube channel. It's got tons of videos that I filmed over the years. I don't think anybody has filmed as much Salem as I have. I think you'll dig it. You know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps more people see the video. Leave a comment down below. I answer all the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Detours. Click that red subscribe button. And while you're clicking away, click that small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. I invite you to check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. I also have a Facebook group, Derek Millen's Detours. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.